A North County artist returned to the area after several years living in places like central New York, Florida, and even Hawaii. He was surprised to see such a wealth of artists in one area. In tonight's Creative Connections, Cable 8's Katie Cummings introduces us to Trent Lutz. After moving around for a good portion of his life, Westfield artist Trenton Lutz finally returns to his hometown. He is one of the artists that participates in the annual Art Trail Weekend and was excited to be invited. His primary work is abstract painting and photography, but he likes to concentrate on one at a time. I like to do a lot of outdoor nature shots um, with the photography, but then like when I go into my painting mode, yeah, it's, it's very abstract, throwing paint and, and things like that. So. Um, and I can't do one, I have to do one or the other. I can't be doing both at the same time. Like uh, I'll be, I'll spend like six months, I'll be like, man, I gotta do, do photos, I gotta do photos. And, and then, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden I'll be like, well, okay, I don't feel like doing photos anymore. And then I switch gears. He usually keeps the photography images in their raw form, but recently started dabbling in computer editing. Most of the work though is spontaneous. If I know I'm going somewhere where there's a good chance that I'll have like a, an opportunity to get some interesting photos, I'll, I'll always keep my camera with me. But uh, sometimes it's just kind of an out of the blue thing. Like I'll be driving along. And luckily, usually it's within a certain mile, you know, certain miles of home, and I'll I'll be like, wow, that's really nice. And I'll immediately speed home, grab my camera, speed back, and hope that one, I don't get a ticket, and two, that what what I saw is still you know, there. Since his artwork generally involves splashing paint on canvas, his backyard has become an ideal workspace. We usually set up everything outdoors. I'm, I usually do the thrown painting outside and have people, they can, they can come and they can see how I, you know, uh, the energy level that I have to have in order to be doing the work. And I put the, put the canvas down on the ground, obviously, and I will, I'll walk around the whole canvas and I'll just, I mean, um, I usually tell people who come to, come to my, <laughs> come to see me doing my work, I usually tell them, you know, you might want to stand like four, maybe three or four feet back just because uh, I can't guarantee that I won't get paint on you. One thing he didn't learn in school was marketing as an artist. He hopes up and coming artists will become better prepared than he was first starting out. I mean, you can you can pick up the art stuff and, and you can, you know, improve and make changes and, you know, uh, your style and all that stuff, your own personal style. But, you know, grants and marketing yourself, that's that's really something that you need to be taught. I mean, you can you can learn it, but it, it certainly helps to have somebody there. I mean, I've, I've, I've picked up a lot from the artists locally here. Um, aside from that, just just keep going with your creative connections. I'm Katie Cummings. All right, thanks Katie. When we come back, YNN's Todd Kirkman has the forecast, so stay with us, Weather's Up next.